Hello everyone, welcome to GeoRant 154, I think. I'm doing this from memory, so it may not be the exact number. I've done so many of these over the years, but if you want to check me, just go to my playlist. There should be 154 of these. If there are, I'm good. Anyway, Blackie is here to help me, so you might see him once in a while. And we're going to try to keep this relatively short. He's my helper. He's uh, absolutely adoring. Yes, yes, okay. But anyway, I digress. Which way is north? Well, this is not going to be, whew, sorry, he got some fur in my face. Well, this is not going to be a philosophical argument about which way is north. It's the north you're thinking about. You know, this is my really crude drawing of earth with latitude and longitude lines. Just roll with it. It's not perfect. It's the north you think of, the north pole, the point where earth rotates about its axis, oh, this way, once every 24 hours, from the point due directly pointing north to Polaris. Wow, I almost stumbled over that horribly. So there's no trick here. But I need to say something because I was talking to someone on the interwebs and we were having a discussion and I was just using cardinal directions to refer to the Upper Peninsula in the past. Now, for the sake of argument, we'll just say, you know, these lines aren't set exact amounts or anything, but the Upper Peninsula is somewhere right around here. And we will say that roughly this is the shape of North America or Laurentia about 1 billion years ago. Oh, hey, you okay? That was Bela. So that's what I'm talking about. Okay, just keep this in your head. This is modern position of the Upper Peninsula. Now, we all know through plate tectonics, it has not always been here. The Upper Peninsula a billion years ago, now we're starting to lock this down. There's still some questions about what was where, and this is just me pulling something out of my hind end for the sake of argument. So it's not gonna be exact, but we'll say the Upper Peninsula was here. And I'm going to ignore magnetic reversals for the sake of argument here, okay? They're not applicable because this video would be 10 times longer than it is. So today, relative to me, North in the Upper Peninsula would be this way, all right? Now, when we talk as geologists, we tend to use modern directions. And some of you have heard me talk about this before. Like when I talk about how North America was built, you get accretions over here and mostly over here over time. So it was built from the Northwest to the Southeast and from the, basically from the East to West in modern relationships. And when I say that, that's what I'm talking about. I mean modern position of the continent. But that guy wasn't using that. He was basing his discussion with me off of a paleomagnetic or off of a paleo map interpretation of where the UP was a billion years ago. So to him, north was this way to the southwest. We just went back and forth arguing ridiculously about directions before I realized that, wait, maybe he's not thinking in terms that I'm thinking of. <laughs> he wasn't. And once I figured that out, and I'm like, D are you talking about the position of the UP today or a billion years ago? He was like, a billion years ago? Why? What are you talking about? I'm talking about and I'm like, I'm talking about where it is today. It's just easier for me and most geologists, when we talk about paleo directions, we're basing it off modern directions because we don't have these maps memorized. And if we're thinking about something in the past, a billion years ago, 500 million years ago, you know, we don't, don't memorize these things usually. Some of us have some positions memorized, especially paleomagnetism people or sorry, paleomagnetic people, because that's what they study. And if they're studying this specific time frame, they'll know. And this guy was using a paper based off of a paleomagnetic paper. So I wasn't thinking about that. But when we just generally talk about things as geologists, just so you know, we are generally speaking 90% of the time in modern cardinal directions. If I say north, I mean north today, even though a billion years ago, north could have been, you know, because the UP would have been rotated. That's what this means. So my north, my modern north was actually my southwest then. But the paleo north would be this way, which modern wise would have been like this. 
Now, this is starting to get messy, so I'm going to stop drawing random things. The whole point of this whole thing was just make sure you both are talking about the same thing when you're talking. All right. Uh, and that was the confusion here. And just so you know, when geologists are talking about, you know, deep time, you know, a billion years ago, two billion years ago, which we don't have real good reconstructions for anyway, so it's easier to talk about it in modern terms. Anyway, we are speaking in modern cardinal directions. Like I said, especially when it breaks down in the very deep past, two billion, three billion years ago. So anyway, I think you guys uh, understand uh, what I was talking about, and it was kind of fast, and I just wanted to get this out as fast as I could, because you guys know this geo rants I don't edit. They're just one take. Anyway, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I hope you guys learned something.